Brand new Grok 3 is the fastest AI on Earth. Elon Musk and OpenAI are going at it. And new AI research can detect the emotions of animals from their facial expressions. All that and more is coming up right now. XAI has just dropped Grok 3. They're calling it the smartest AI on Earth. Elon Musk and XAI have unveiled their most powerful AI model yet, and they're calling it the smartest AI on Earth. With incredible reasoning abilities, real-time data access, and problem solving that feels like a breakthrough, Grok 3 isn't just an evolution, it's a revolution in artificial intelligence. I will say, okay, name me dog breeds and deny. Now it's going to think it over. It gives you the timer and it shows you exactly what it's thinking about. If we click on the arrow down there, we can see how it's rolling out. And it has passed the test, all right? So the reason the model, if you want intelligent answers, is far superior to the normal version of Grok 3. So this is a model that boasts advanced reasoning capabilities and features deep search, which enhances its ability to understand and process complex queries. So obviously they're going after other AI models like ChatGPT and China's DeepSeek. It's a release that marks a significant step forward in AI development, highlighting the potential for even more sophisticated and intelligent systems in the future. Does this put Sam Altman on the back foot to some extent? Is, is Sam Altman of open AI now, now playing catch up to Musk? Um, yeah, a little bit, but I think this is a bit like a kind of multi-dimensional game of ping pong, you know, that um, somebody hits the ball uh, and then it's up to somebody else to kind of take things forward. And we've seen that you know, recently. You know, I, I think this isn't the kind of the definitive statement in the world of, um, of generative AI and these kind of chatbots. Uh, there's a lot more to come from all of Musk's competitors uh, on this, you know, very, very pivotal kind of software technology. Now, the one caveat is that you've got to have an X Premium Plus subscription in order to use it. Now, that being the case, the AR arms race is fast accelerating and differentiation is going to come down to real world applications, not just flashy claims. So we're going to be watching very carefully for the various ways that Grok 3 ingratiates itself into all kinds of different workflows. And in the meantime, get caught up with the news about the release. It's all on the Wednesday I page right now. Speaking of XAI versus OpenAI, Elon Musk just tried to buy OpenAI, but the board rejected his offer, opting instead to make policy changes to ChatGPT. You take it seriously at all? What do you think he's trying to drive at with this? I think he's probably just trying to slow us down. Um, he obviously is a competitor. Uh, it's, you know, he's working hard and he's raised a lot of money for XAI and they're trying to uh, compete with us from a technological perspective, from the, you know getting the product into the market, and uh, I wish he would just compete by building a better product. But I think there's been a lot of tactics, you know, many many lawsuits, all sorts of other crazy stuff. Now this. Um, and we'll try to just put our head down and keep working. Shortly after Musk made his bid, OpenAI removed certain content warnings and announced plans to reduce AI censorship, pledging not to filter viewpoints. So whether these changes were a direct response to Musk's actions is unclear, but they align with his criticism of AI moderation. So meanwhile, Musk continues to challenge OpenAI publicly, escalating tensions with CEO Sam Altman. In fact, I saw a post in my social feeds saying that the two of them are engaged in an epic rap battle. <laughs> so OpenAI was actually started and it was meant to be open source. Uh, I named it uh, OpenAI uh, after open source. Um, it is in fact closed source. Super clo it should be, it should be named, renamed super closed source for maximum profit AI. Um, <laughs> So their ongoing feud highlights the growing debate over AI governance and the balance between safety and free expression. A lot of links covering this story, a lot to talk about. You can get caught up with all of it on the Wednesday I page right now. Everybody's trying to pack AI features into their products. And in the case of Amazon and Apple, the double A, if you will, they're hitting another snag. Amazon's AI powered Alexa and Apple's AI enhanced Siri facing delays and technical issues. Testing showed Alexa couldn't always give accurate responses. They're trying to add cool features like remembering conversations and ordering takeout, but it's been tricky to integrate advanced AI smoothly. On the Apple side, Siri isn't faring much better. 
engineering problems and software bugs are pushing new features back to iOS 18.5, expected in May. Apple wants Siri to have better app control and context-aware assistance, but it's proving to be a bumpy ride. Now, Amazon has once again postponed the launch of their revamped Alexa due to persistent glitches, and Apple's AI-driven Siri is reportedly struggling with bugs. Now, both companies are racing to keep up with competitors like OpenAI and Google, but they're hitting roadblocks in making their assistants truly intelligent. Now, these setbacks highlight the challenges of integrating advanced AI into everyday consumer products. Now, despite these delays, both companies say they're committed to rolling out more powerful AI assistants. Do you own their devices? Are you excited to get these AI enhancements? Let me know in a comment. The UK government has just rebranded their AI Safety Institute as the AI Security Institute, shifting its focus away from AI bias and free speech concerns and toward national security and economic impact. Now, as part of this pivot, they've just signed a memorandum of understanding with the US AI company Anthropic to collaborate on AI research and risk management. Now, this move signals a broader shift in AI governance prioritizing security threats over speculative risks and soft governance issues. Now, we saw that speech that J.D. Vance gave last week at that big conference in Paris. There's a lot of uh, talk going on, a humongous worldwide conversation going on around how we're going to define safety in the age of AI. But for businesses, this story underscores the increasing alignment of AI policy with geopolitical strategy. A lot of meat to this one. Sink your teeth into it with the links that are on the Wednesday I page right now. And let me know what you think about all this in a comment wherever you're watching this. The power of AI content creation is getting closer and closer to the fingertips and keyboards of the masses as YouTube Shorts has just integrated Google's VO2 video model. We just reported on this on a recent episode, enabling creators to generate AI clips using text prompts from within YouTube. Open the Shorts camera and tap add to open the media picker. Then tap create at the top. Enter your prompt here and dream screen will generate four images for you to choose from select one of them you can either create an image or a video the generated clip is six seconds long by default you can add more clips by repeating the same process to extend your short now they say vo2 offers faster processing and more realistic outputs with ai generated content clearly labeled using deepmind's synth id tool now youtube's ai powered shorts could re shape content creation, advertising, and platform engagement, making AI-generated media a mainstream tool for creators and brands. Now, for businesses, it may unlock new marketing and content strategies. The feature is only available in U.S., Canada, Australia, and New Zealand at present, but plans for broader access are coming later. A lot of big news about this as AI-powered content creation is getting closer and closer to your grandma using it and everybody being able to make a YouTube short about anything they can dream up. Watch the videos. We've compiled a bunch of links for you. Get familiar and whatever you make with it, send me the link and let me check it out. Now, is this one cool or is this one freaky? Researchers are training AI to interpret animal emotions, aiming to detect signs of pain and distress in animals. Project SETI researchers use autonomous submarines and drones to record the sounds of sperm whales and use artificial intelligence to process all that data to find patterns similar to Morse code and then catalog that communication instantly. So if we want to understand what animals are saying to each other, why they feel the need to talk to one another. We need to know who's saying what, but then also where are they and when are they doing it and who's doing it. So projects like IntelliPig analyze pig facial expressions while the University of Haifa focuses on canine emotions. The University of Sao Paulo achieved high accuracy in detecting horse pain using AI. These advancements promise to revolutionize animal welfare and veterinary practices, but whether this leads to genuine improvements in animal welfare or just new ways to maximize profits in the factory farming sector remains to be seen. Now, in the meantime, a lot of interesting stuff to read about to catch up with this story, so go check it out on the Wednesday I page right now.
And now it's time for a very special edition of the videos of the week. Congratulations to all the winners of the 2025 Project Odyssey filmmaking competition. So many winners in a lot of great categories. We just got a few selected here for you. The first place winner in the narrative category is One Last Wish by Edmund Yang. Du bare oversett på på nett at sånt har blitt veldig enkelt. Hold det litt. Alt er det som finnes. The first place winner in the music video category is What Do I Know by Afro Futch. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Listen. Living below the minimum, plus she's a mini mum, only 16 years old, about to have a son. In hindsight, what if he didn't come? GCSE results would have been above the minimum. Predicted in a but straight some hey hun, heads up and all you fed up. The first place winner in the marketing and advertising category is Roar by Cleo, an AI perfume ad by Tim Gibson. for the fearless and the first place winner in the trailer category is Nalvora by Dr. Makakil there's still time to save yourself if we don't do something now there will be nothing left to save do you really think we'll let the delusions of a child twisted by fear shake the order of what has protected us for centuries she's not protecting us anymore she's warning us And that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you so much for watching. We here at Wednesday Eye, we strive every week to bring you the biggest headlines from the world of AI in a concise and entertaining package. Now, if you want to get the news first, then get on over to the Wednesday Eye page, put in your email address, subscribe to get the newsletter, and you're going to know about all this stuff before it even makes it into the show. Now, if you're making something cool in AI or you got a tip, something we just got to talk about on the show, maybe a video we should feature, send us the link. We want it. We're on X, Instagram, LinkedIn. Leave a comment on YouTube or wherever you're watching this. Or better yet, just go on YouTube and use VO2 to make a short and send me the link to that. I'll watch it over and over and over again. And I'll appreciate you for doing it. Just like I appreciate you for watching this show. Thank you. And see you next time. Fire!